गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टूडे आई विल फिनिश द मेंटल स्टेट एग्जामिनेशन आज आई टोल्ड इन लास्ट क्लास मूड व्हाट इज द मूड द डेफिनेशन इज इज परसिव एंड सस्टेन इमोशन दैट कलर्स द पर्सन परसेप्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नाउ दिस इज मूड व्हाट अबाउट इफेक्ट I will write down the definition of effect. Effect is what we see on the face of the person at the time of inspection. The definition of effect is patients present. emotional responsiveness in inferred from the patient's facial expression including the range of expressive behavior the effect might be may be or may not be in congruent with mood so the patient might say no i am sad i am i am not sad i am okay but his facial expression might look depressed we basically most of the case we found in depressed patient who tries to hide their emotions or in schizophrenic patients where there is restricted effect because of drug overdose because of antipsychotic drugs or because of the illness itself the facial expression is masked where we write restricted effect but there is the, the range of expressive behavior in a schizophrenic patient is quite diminished now after the we have also learned about last week our thought i told you of the four experience four सप्टी सब थॉट विषय डायग्नोज स्टीम फॉर्म पॉइसन एंड कॉन्टेंट ऑफ थॉट these are four sub types of form in stream where there is disorder in the stream of thought there are flight of ideas basically found in manic patients where you will, will the patient will be have so many of ideas because the manic the brain is hyperactive there will be so many ideas in, inside the brain of the mind of the person the person will be speaking in a very fast flow which is known as flight of ideas and they will he will jump from one topic to another topic in form how the thought is been formed whether the thought is of himself of his own self or the thought is from of, of others or in in sometimes the patient complain that yet thought is not mine 
it has been put into my mind by a waves through from the social media or from from the aliens we have found these patients those are known as disorder of the form of thought in poison we will find delusion while the delusion is the de definition of delusion i will write it here is a false a fixed false form belief which is against the social cultural norms of the person and which is is not changed even after evidence to the contrary has been provided basically found in schizophrenic patients where you will see the lot of types of delusions they are basically most common is delusion of persecution in delusion persecution we see the person will comment somebody or some people are trying to harm me or my loved ones this delusion persecution then there is but people will complain in layman terms ki amake bashe bari lokera sojonto hocche amake marar jonne kimba tara kichu ekta plan korche amar amader bari lokeder khoti korar jonne this is known as delusion persecution while delusion reference in delusion of reference the person of it comments that people are talking about him or her in in, in sorry in layman terms they will say jab ye rasta diye jacchi onek guru lok guru dekhla boshe boshe physics korche amar abar amar abar sojonto korche amar abar kotha bolche and he will always see or he will always feel that anybody conversing will are con talking about him then there is also delusion of infidelity as the name suggest people will think that he is or her spouse is having an extramarital affair and that is very fixed this is very difficult to find because most of the times it can be true or it can be false there was a patient of me the male patient who was suffering from schizophrenia long term schizophrenia and the patient had complained that he suspects his wife is having an affair with his father we were we were shocked the mother was present when we asked the mother mother the mother replied negative but we did notice the wife keeping quiet and not even saying a single word later on when the, the patient was admitted and through the course of the treatment we we had been interviewing other related family relatives the mama of the patient told it can be true because we have seen the patient we we know the father of the patient the father of the patient has a characteristic like that and as the son is suffering from schizophrenia there is a high probability the, the the wife might be having an affair with the father so it's we didn't know which one to believe and which one not to the other known as delusion of love nihilistic delusion and there are a lot of delusions we'll come to this later on now after thought we'll come to perception what is the definition of perception remember you have to remember by heart all the definition which i'm writing so perception the definition of perception is sensory experience of the world basically we should we always think out perceptual abnormalities we should find out whether there is any person is suffering from hallucination or not the five types of hallucination auditory visual sensory tactile and gustatory 
you know, I, I would suppose you would know they are auditory hallucination, visual, gustatory, olfactory, and tactile. Next comes to attention and concentration. Basically, we'll find out about the patient of orientation, attention, memory. We need to check all these things in the patient. Which is clubbed under sensorium and cognition. In sensory and cognition, first thing we note is orientation. Orientation of the patient, whether the patient is oriented to time, place, and person. We will ask the patient, not a specific time, because most of in IPD patients or patient is in an ICU setup, patient won't be oriented so much with the actual timing. So we should know what time of the day, whether the paper it is morning or afternoon or evening or night, something like that. Place where the patient is at the moment, which floor and everything, and who the person, whether the patient is able to recognize. Who all are there? Whether the patient recognizes that you are the doctor, he is the she is the wife, and etc. etc. After orientation, we come to attention and concentration. Here we do a test of the patient. We tell the patient to start counting from. 100 minus 7 till 5 counts which will come to 65 if the patient is literate if the patient is not literate we can or we can say the days of the week backwards backwards if the patient is still not able to say that we can ask the days of the week forwards and so on and so forth. They are steps. Attention concentration, we need to find out how, the, how much the patient is paying attention to your. Then comes memory. Memory in mental state examination, we divide memory into, which all coming in sensorium and cognition, okay? Or in memory, in MFC, we divide into immediate, recent, and remote. The immediate memory is the memory of the few days, which is basically found in registration of the brain of the of all sensory perception stimulus and how much they are able to recall recent memory are out, out of events in the past few months but even memory are old memories which are basically pretty intact in most of the patients so how do you test for immediate memory we ask the patient we tell the patient that we will repeat three things which are not rhyming with each other and which should be spoken at a difference of one second each. Example are like cat, tree, 
हाउस समथिंग लाइक दैट विद द मीट विद द इंडिया में वन सेकेंड इच एंड वी आस्क द पेशेंट टू रिपीट विद द पेशेंट इज रिपीट इज एबल टू रिपीट ऑल द थ्री वर्ड्स देन द एटेंशन इज नॉर्मल एटेंशन एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन and after 3 5 minutes we train the patient to repeat If the patient is able to repeat these three things that means the memory memory is intact we also ask about the patient's dinner and patient's patient's daily activity on the last day to find out the immediate memory remote memory we ask the patient about events in the last few months and for remote we asked about the childhood memories which school he had been to or his father's profession or some or other questions even in patients with dementia the first thing the immediate memory goes kaput this memory is hampered first the brain is not able to register things that's why there's no immediate memory formed only then slowly the recent memory goes kaput and at the last moment the remote memory is also, also disappears in the patients of alzheimer's or a dementia patient after memory we come to reading and writing script skills of the patient which you don't need to do and visual special ability here we have a diagram like we draw a diagram suppose this diagram which famous in M M M M S C and we'll tell the patient to draw the same diagram with the with the same with trying to have the same dimensions or we can even draw a 3D 3D picture like this and then tell the tell the patient to draw after visual spatial ability we come to abstract thinking in abstract thinking we basically ask the patient a proverb like nasna jade angan tera the grass is greener on the other side or muhabra or something like like this and tell the ox and ask the patient to tell us the meaning of the muhabra of the proverb that is when whether the patient is able to understand the meaning if the patient is illiterate and patient doesn't know all this all these muhabras we can even ask and tell the patient about small story and tell us to ask about and ask them to tell the moral of the story okay this is known as abstract thing we need to know whether the brain is able to understand and find out the meaning behind the story or behind a sentence and to use his own brain to decipher decipher it later on after abstract thinking we come to judgment judgment is also divided into test 
पर्सनल एंड सोशल इन पर्सनल जजमेंट दिस इज ओनली बाय ऑब्जर्वेशन वी नीड टू नो एंड बाय क्वेश्चनिंग we ask the lip we see the whether the patient is well groomed or not whether the patient is able to take care or not whether the patient is able to take a bath every day and how the patient has has come to the opd in the hospital and we also ask the relatives whether the patient is able to take care of himself or not that is known as personal judgment while social judgment is how the patient's interaction with others with other members of the family and his friends and other peers the no social judgment while test judgment we give the patient a hypothetical situation and ask the patient how he will react a very famous question which we do is that we ask the patient the suppose he is walking down the road this is the patient the house the house is on fire and there is a telephone booth okay i don't know how to draw the telephone telephone booth with a screen and there is a well we tell the patient what he will do i even found some bizar ideas when the patient says excuse me the patient aag lag gaya aag lag gaya he will aag lag gaya good i will i will strip off my clothes and i will dance in front of in front of the fire and he will shout aag laga aag laga aag laga i found this type of patients they basically patients of schizophrenia but we need to know how the patient responds to a situation and what what Sometimes the patient say, "I will try. I will draw the draw water from the well and put out the fire. I can do it alone. That can be a sign of manic. That I, I put a ghar pe aag lagai. He can he can scoop put down the fire alone. Most of the people say that there is a telephone booth. I will call the fire department and I will call other people and together we will put down the fire. Normal thing. This known as test judgment." and lastly we diagnose the insight of the patient in a insight of a patient we need to know how much the patient is oriented about his own illness or not we classify the insight of the patient from 0 to 5 when the patient has zero insight means patient denies Having any illness, illness. Why one is patient accepts and denies at the same same time, accepting and denying at the same time. Number two is when the patient attributes. Oh, this is this cannot be seen. When the patient attributes the illness to external factors. suppose patient says these are not my thoughts these are these are not me this is not me my actions were not mine but i was controlled from outside by a remote or something like that the illness were controlling me these are known as when somebody creates attributes the illness to external factors while number 
is when the patient attributes to internal factors. Kya shurim hoda asuk chilo, tajjur hai not asuk chilo. Amar amar brain hai mohde chip dukhi diye chilo, tajjur amar yeh yeh koch chilo. Amar bhedar mohde kyu kichu koch kichu bish bishi se abar shurim hoda khayi chhi. Khaa jo amar ekera kichu ata hotche. Tajjur amar emni action gul hoyi chhi. These are internal factors. One number four is when the patient has intellectual insight. Patient understands that he is suffering from illness. And what illness is the patient suffering from? This is known as intellectual illness, yeah, intellectual insight. One number five is total emotional insight. Emotional insight. When we say if the patient has reached stage 5, then we say the patient is almost cured of the illness. And we can think of tapering down the medicines. These are the six stages of insight. And this is how we perform the mental state examination of a patient. It actually takes us, used to take me when I was a postgraduate student around 1 to 2, 1.5 hours to do a total mental state examination of a patient, maybe more. Along with the history, we used to take around 3 to 4 hours to take a proper history and mental state examination of a patient. So it's a very, very long process. Obviously, with time and experience, the time has shortened down for me and maybe for all you budding psychiatrists who might pursue this field, this time will decrease. This is how we do a mental state examination of a patient. This is very important and there will be questions coming from this mental state examination and without knowing about this, we cannot proceed further into psychiatry. So, so please read our mental state examination and get to know how and what things and questions and questionnaires we need to ask and what are the clues we need to look for in a patient. Thank you.